Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new Cinema 4D video about the new pen tool in R17. So the pen tool and spline tools in R17 have been completely rebuilt to work a lot better, smarter, and faster. It'll save you a lot of time and give you a lot more control if you're used to working with splines and the drawing tools. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and take a look at the new tools. So here we are in R17 and we got some wacky little shapes I've created with the new spline tools that we can take a look at. And these were all created using some fun new settings with these new pen and spline tools. So let's delete these objects and make them from scratch and get started. So if we go up to our spline tools, you'll notice that things look a little different and our options have been completely replaced by this new pen tool and some additional options. So if we wanted to draw some basic splines for say that pint glass, we'd get our pen tool, go to our different views and start drawing from our axis. And we'll notice right away when we start drawing with our new pen tool, we get a little preview of where our line's going and we can click to make a new point, click to make another point, pan up and click to keep making new points. And if we click and hold, we get a new point with tangents and then we're gonna get our angles and we can just quickly draw out a new little shape with our nice little preview options. And we'll just draw kind of a rough glass illustration. And then when I'm done, I can press escape and that's gonna finalize my point. And if you want to find the old options, you can see over here in our pen tool attributes, we have our different types. So if you wanted to draw straight lines or B splines or a chemo, whatever the hell that did, you can still draw that way. And now that we have our spline, I can drop it into a lathe. And there we got our little rough glass. Now, a lot of the great updates are when we start to make changes. So if we go back to the spline and run our pen tool, if we want to pick up where we were drawing and maybe do something else, we can click on our last point and that's gonna automatically start drawing within that same spline, which is useful. Previously, it would make a new spline. And if we still wanted it to do that, that's still there on our pen tools. We can create new splines with this little checkbox, but it's checked off by default, which is good in my opinion. This is a better way of working. So if we wanted to create more lines, we could create new points and just draw new things within this cut maybe and press escape when we're done again. And now, if we want to move our points, we get our little preview of where they're going to. We can even pull full lines out. So maybe if we want to do this and it's going to preview where they're going. And let's just undo that because this is looking too goofy. And if we want to create new points, we can hover over and command click. So I could just grab these, maybe move these two up. If we want to really adjust these curves a lot more, we can click a point and drag our tangents around. If we want to drag just one and break it, we can hold shift. And if we wanted this to just be a flat line, we can either double click and it removes those tangents, or we can right click and we get this little pop-up menu with delete, disconnect, hard or soft tangent. So let's just do hard on these two to make an example out of this. And I could even just delete that one and then I get my hard little line. So it makes it a lot easier to quickly make some changes and draw this out. Now, in this case, there's one little tool that's really useful. You'll notice there's this new spline arcs tool. And what this lets you do is draw out arcs in different ways, but you can use this tool to add arcs to existing splines. So we grab our spline, grab our arcs. If we wanted this to be a perfect arc on this top, we could just click this point, start to drag, and then we get an arc here. And we don't have to worry about trying to draw it accurately. And we could do the same thing down here if we just want this to be actually an arc. I can double click to just remove those tangents and then I'll get my arc tool back and just pull out from that line. So it's really useful for this sort of thing when you want to get really accurate curves in here. And then if I just wanted to delete this weird little center thing, I can just get my rectangle tool, grab these, delete those, and then just move this one spline back to our line. Let's turn our lathe back on, look from our views, and we can still edit this. So if I want to grab my spline and still make some changes, I can grab these points, make this taller and look more like a pint glass and really fill this out. So just basic drawing with our pen and even our spline arc tool has been drastically improved to really give you a lot more control. Now let's keep going. There's a lot more new stuff with these pen tools. Instead of freehand that we had previously, there's this sketch and what this will do if I start drawing is just give us that freehand sketch option and then create points when I'm done. And you'll notice there's this smoothing over here. 
So if we turn that way up, we're going to get kind of this slow smoothing line. And if we turn it way down, we'd get really exactly what our pen is doing. Let's just reset that back to 50. And if we're drawn with this, we can just rough out some weird shape with nothing selected up here. So we'll make a new spline. I'll grab that and go to close spline. So now we have this shape. And if we have kind of a basic line, there's this new spline smooth option, which if I check that, I can rub along this spline and smooth it out. But there's a lot of additional things you can do with this smooth tool. There's actually a lot more in it. We can check on and off all these different options for things like flatten, pull, spiral, and inflate. So if I check on flatten, I could actually just flatten out a couple segments of this. If I do random, it's gonna give me kind of these weird random little tugs and pulls. If I do pull, I can kind of pull it up and it's kind of similar to sculpting if we can kind of sculpt and push and pull this and change our strength and radius of our brush. And if you had a middle mouse button, you could use that to even quickly change the brush. We can get this little spiral, which will give us these little twists at the end. So let's add some of these little waves in here. We can go to inflate, which will kind of blow up these lines. So we can do a lot with smoothing as well as some of these little additional sculpting options for our spline to really smooth things out and get kind of a more organic way of editing geometry by twisting and pulling it around. And then I could just drop that into an extrude object and we got some quick geometry built from this from our freehand line. Now, the last little additions I wanna talk about with this, with the pen tool updates are these subtract, union, and different commands over here. And what these do is let you do similar things to what we have in our spline mask, but without having it in a hierarchy and it will make it permanent. So if we have this spline and I'll just grab a circle and put it on top of here, what this will do is let me grab multiple splines. So I'll just turn my extrude off. And if I wanted to take these two and either cut that out, add it to my spline or these additional and or intersect options, if I grab that circle and then my spline and then grab one of those commands, let's do union, it's gonna add that. And if I wanted to cut it out, I could go to subtract and it's gonna cut that out. And if I undo that real quick, you'll see once I grab those, the second one is a little lighter yellow. And what it's doing is cutting the first one out of the second one and it notifies you of which is the final one by that little yellow highlight. So if I went subtract that way, we're gonna end up with that. And if I wanted to cut this out of the center, I can move it here and then grab my circle and my spline second and do subtract and it's gonna punch that out and make that permanent. So it's a little quicker way to work with cutting splines out of each other or subtracting. If you wanna work in that way and you're more comfortable with those sorts of destructive path tools. So there's a lot of little updates to our pen tool and our spline tools. It's gonna to really help with drawing in Cinema 4D. R17, and if you wanna learn more about other new features in R17, you can check out my other videos on things like the new take system, which is a pretty huge one, the variation shader, metal ball updates, as well as all sorts of other updates by clicking on those thumbnail videos to keep learning about R17. There's lots of new stuff that'll be really fun and really help workflow. And if you have any questions on new features, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella. You can just hashtag those R17. And be sure to subscribe to the channel at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella to get all sorts of new videos on Cinema 4D, After Effects, motion graphics, and anything in the VFX industry. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.